Fuck your camera. What's up, everybody? We are back with another knee jerk reaction. Last minute notice. By yeah, the way. we kind of just out of nowhere did this. Rodney's like, "Can you please watch this?" <laughs> I was a big fan when I was a kid, and it mean the world to me. And you know, I just sometimes you gotta throw a dog a bone. And this pup got it. I didn't watch it. I lied to you. <laughs> so y'all two go. No, nah, I watched it. Um, regrettably. So, um, but y'all. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Josh? Uh, I mean, I knew absolutely nothing about. Moon Knight. Me too. Did we even say Moon Knight? Oh, yeah. Show? We're we reviewing were doing... Moon Knight. Disney Plus series. Um, I knew absolutely nothing about it going into it. Um, and it immediately hooked me. Like five minutes in, I couldn't take my eyes off. Dude, does his screen. accent not sound like Korg a little bit? I love... That's what... <laughs> that popped in I my I loved head too. his accent as Stephen uh, Grant. His, his Stephen Grant accent was flawless. I wanted more and more Stephen Grant throughout the episode just because I loved how like innocent he like he was just an innocent person but uh let's start with the opening scene in my opinion the best scene in the episode you get really uh, a glass on a table oh, and you get a guy that's where I got some whiskey hooked. into it and then you don't ever see his face but he takes a drink of it puts it back down folds it up in a towel Smashes it with his cane, puts the shards of glass in his shoes, and starts walking. I was like, oh my god, this is fucking amazing. I kind of forgot about that. Dude, it, I feel like I didn't what, even see who, that happen. <laughs> Maybe that's I was the main making antagonist. some food or something. Uh, I can't remember his yeah, name. Do you only know that if you like read Arthur the Arthur Harrow. Huh? You, you would, you, well, most of the characters in this, like Arthur Harrow is a villain in the comics, but it's. In this show, I, I don't know what they're doing because they're, they've changed. Like, they can do basically whatever they want because the comics are scattered as they are. Like, there's been so many different iterations of Moon Knight. It's kind of ridiculous. So they can kind of do their own thing in this. But, uh, yeah, dude. It, so they don't show him again this episode? Who's that? The guy with the yeah. glass shoes? Yeah. That's the dude. The Like, the guy with the... The okay, scales on his arm. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah, so he's pretty much, like, living in this town You're talking in about Egypt. Ethan Hawke? Yeah, Ethan Hawke. For Hawk's some character. reason, like, when you was, like, struggling for the character name, usually somebody's like, you know Ethan Hawke's character. So when you didn't do I that. I know, I didn't. So when you didn't do that, I was sitting there, I was like, he's talking about another guy. <laughs> I didn't and, think about it for a second. Yeah, yeah. Ethan Hawke was definitely in this. There's my point. Uh, But, yeah, Oscar Isaac, though. As Stephen Grant and as Mark Spector, like, what'd y'all think of that? I loved it. Flawless? Great, yeah. The whole right, he's really good, but I'm like Josh. I have nothing to base it off of. I don't know if he's, like, killing the version okay, of the so character, but he was, like, very from likable. What we watched, yeah. What do y'all think about the visions? How the, how the visions are edited? I liked it. Oh, yeah. Like, it I, we don't the see what happens. Really? There's a lot of moments. Like, and I actually thought it was very well done when he came down the elevator. And yes. And that fucking thing came yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. That, and then it was a grandma, which was even scarier. <laughs> I just weird. Like, I have grandma phobia. You know what I'm saying? Especially from that movie Devil. Oh, my <laughs> God, dude. Nessalacophobia. We are out there. That's gr the technical term for grandma phobia is Nessalacophobia. I just made that up, unless you Google it and it's true somehow. Nesselepophobia? Nesseleca. Sounds right. Phobia, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm not trying to fuck with no grandmas, bro, <laughs> but that's a lot. Yeah, the visuals in this were pretty fucking cool. Some and of the CGI in it was awful, though. Yeah, but the it works. Logs. It works. <laughs> it was cool. It was and that, that whole scene was pretty fucking dope. I like the whole chase scene. I love, like, it reminded me of Venom, kind of, like, with, like, the fucking person taking Inside. over. Yeah, and shit. The, I, I did got not, a vibes yeah, from that. I did too. For sure. Yeah. Like, Let me take over. Because that the voice he's hearing is Mark Spector. And then he's Stephen Grant. And then there there's Jake Lockley, is another character from the comics. Because Moon Knight is a multi, -person, multi personality characters so it's like a schizophrenia almost each character has a different you know power and uh but we got to see mark specter stephen grant and moon knight uh, so that's three characters right there and to get to that point you know at the end of the episode where 
you finally get to see him oh, yeah, in costume was, was incredible. I love the dog or whatever was chasing him, like hits him. Whatever it was, changes. yeah. Yeah. And then the dog's trying to crawl away and he pulls it back in the room. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude, such a creative choice not to show the fight. But to show the fear of the creature, it's like, him, holy yeah. shit, if the creature is scared of him, then... What happened here? Yeah, like, yeah. what's going on? There That's was a cool, lot man. of good creative choices in this episode. For sure. And I dug that shit. I just black out and wake up. And yes. it was like, what just the happened? in reverse. Like, <laughs> yeah. Very cool stuff. And Ethan Hawke, man, I think he's killing it. Like I really like dude, him. I'm so bad, glad uh, he's doing this evil kick right now where he's doing he, all dude, villains. Dude, he's nailing like yes. the look is great. Black like, phone, God can't, can't come soon wait. enough. Yeah, dude, I can come soon enough. But you know what I mean? yeah. um, yeah, it's it was great, and I'm really invested. And in Hawk is the villain here, dude. He was he's so calm. Yeah, there's something about him though. It's like a fucking like it's menacing in his calmness. Mm-hmm. That just like what's he gonna do? He could flip the script at any second. So he judges people, and the scales on his arm. He's got scales tattooed on his forearm, yeah. and yeah. they weigh like lizard the judge scales. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you're if you're a judge, uh, what is it? Bad. It's not mm. just bad and good. It's something else. I don't know. Words. It was wild when his tattoo like came to life though. Mm-hmm. When he was yeah, fucking go green or red. Yeah. He was holding Oscar Isaac's hands very romantically. He's like, you've got the chaos in you, and it's like, what is that? Yeah, and he's <laughs> even like, what is the fuck? I gotta get out of here. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Dude. Overall, I think this is one of the best episodes that Marvel has put out. I mean, Loki episode one completely hooked me, and then it kind of fell off a little bit after that. But uh, the only other thing other than this episode right here is WandaVision for me. So as of right now, Moon Knight is like up top, top tier. Top tier? I agree with that. I haven't that. watched this any is one Marvel episode. shows besides this. This is the first episode of a Marvel That's show. A good first episode you didn't watch WandaVision? Or None of it. Falcon? None of it. None of the previous shows, even before that, that weren't tied into the You universe. might want to watch WandaVision before we watch Multiverse of Madness. Because yeah. it looks like they're doing tie-ins. I'm probably not going to do that. And probably you. Loki, because I'm assuming they're going to do variants. Yeah. You might want to watch all the shows before you watch <laughs> yeah. too, Multiverse of Madness. The, and I, the ending when he became Moon Knight, dude, that was like chills for sure. Too. What do we think of the suit? It looks dope. Oh, dope, like, isn't it? It yeah. looks really fucking That dope. was one of my things when I was a kid, when I was younger, that attracted me to the, the comics of Moon Knight was yeah. like the white the look. That fucking suit. suit. Now I remember this guy. He's, He's like Marvel's Batman, pretty much. Being sexually aroused by a suit. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I'm like, you're going to pick up a suit, a lawsuit, if you keep stalking this guy, the guy that was portrayed. Because it was like an image that was wrote out from a personal guy in the comics, and you were really all over that guy. That was back in, you know, the house phone days, and you were calling, leaving messages. It was really weird. Having security and police show up at the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, it was crazy. He's like, I'm not actually Moon Knight. Stop jerking off to my comics. Yeah, that was a rough time for you. But, you know, we're through it now, and Oscar Isaacs isn't, uh, Isaac is not as attainable. So he ain't got to worry about that, and you ain't got to worry about that. And you have something new to focus on, dude. I'm happy for you. I try my best. Dude, you do not do that. Um, But, you know, here, I think you you will every episode of this because you're really into it. And I'm digging that, and I'm really into it. I can't fucking wait for the next episode. Yeah, that fucking the ending, though, was kind of like, oh, damn. Like, I'm I'm ready. Like, it was kind of like, I want more, but I'm like, no, it's cool to end it there. It sucks we got to wait a fucking week, dude. And it's only six episodes. Okay. Again. This is downhill from here. (laughs) I'm cool with that. They flesh it out, make it all nice and neat like. I think we're going to be a good good hands here i think it is in good hands so if we were to individually rate the episode where would we be at i'd probably Mm. like 5.5 now but there's a lot of upside i'm lying yeah it was great (laughs) i don't i don't know dude it was like a nine that's about where i I would say nine for me that's what i was thinking i was thinking 8.8 yeah anywhere from eight seven to nine for me I want to watch it again but as as an individual episode of tv and it was longer than the previous MCU episodes. Yeah. It's one of those like ones, though, minutes. is it's a lot of 
if you haven't watched this yet, there's a whole lot, especially if you don't have any background on it like me and Josh, it's a lot of blue balls-ish, which I like as long as they deliver on the end because it really, even not just the ending scene where you're like, oh shit, it's him, and then it's gone, but like there's a whole lot more questions and answers that they're really raising here. So it's going to be mm-hmm. interesting to see if they pull that off, and if they don't, it could negate how I feel about the first episode, too. Right. So it's kind of hard to I nail agree. it down. Because that, that's one of the reasons I want to see the second episode so much, to see if any of these yeah. questions are... But watch the, the rest of it be an average. You'll come back to this episode, and you're like, okay, this doesn't deliver as much as I, I thought think it did. I agree. The next episode is going to be the footing of this show. It's going to tell us where this show is going... Uh, Style wise, it'll tell us where the show is going. Uh, what is it tonally? Yeah. Like we'll find, we'll get a good tone, get a good vibe. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. Did we, they didn't explain the little emblem thing you had, did they? Oh, that's I right. I don't remember them the, uh, touching on that more either. He, like he, he was, was confused it by it. He killed a bunch of people over it. But I don't he, think they ever. They wouldn't. Yeah. I can't remember the name of that stone either. The little like beetle the gold thing stone. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I, and then, like the, did they ever touch on that phone that he found? Okay, he so the I, don't I don't think that either. Is that Check like comic this out. book related? I mean, or? I remember that, but I don't remember <coughs> them touching on it. But these are the questions that don't have yeah. answers yet. If he he's, he's been good. calling his mom good thing. the whole time, because it's stuff to bite into later on and look forward to. Yeah, that's and it's left a lot of that that's for like, the series. That's why I love Yellow Jacket so much. You could say it's giving you blue balls, <sighs> so but it's good. fucking a constant like, what's this gonna turn into? Completely different show, but same kind of vibe where it's just like, you could look at it like, oh my god, like I need answers. It's like my, it's like episode one, like pump your brakes. This is setting us up and getting us excited for what's to come. Dude, what about? I, I meant to touch on this. The saddest scene touch on it, in dude. the whole entire episode. When he goes to the restaurant and he oh. calls old girl and he's like, ready for some steak steak? It's like, so Sunday. excited. Yeah, and she's like, fuck you, basically, yeah. you know? But yeah, because her. he loses track of time with the visions and everything, but he, uh, I don't know, dude. His, his, I just think he killed it. Yeah, I mean, I'm great, definitely great happy for him going forward. And Oscar Isaac is a hate love kind of guy for me. Like, I, I don't ever want to say hate, but I'm kind of just like man on him sometimes. But when he nails it, he absolutely knocks out of the park. And he seems like he's got a real winner here. And he's definitely rightfully casted here. Yes. Because he's 100%. got 100%, not to piggyback off of your 100%, right. potential through the fucking roof. Don't take anything away from this dude's acting ability. <coughs> yeah, amazing. All around. Amazing first episode. Yep. Oh, yeah. Great episode. <coughs> Moon Knight.